All right, so we're gonna get started with a foam roll. So we're gonna be doing a lot of kettlebell stuff. We need a single light kettlebell. So in order to do that, we need to really focus on warming up our upper back, our, our hips, hamstrings. So we're gonna start from head to toe with the foam roll. I'm just gonna angle this straight down towards the floor a little more so you can see when I'm down there. We're gonna start literally from the top of our body, from our neck. So you're gonna put this underneath your head, underneath your neck, and just rolling side to side of your neck. It's gonna spend just a couple seconds in each one of these. We don't want to spend a ton of time there. Just rolling side to side of your neck. Yes. All right, and you're going to roll this to your upper back. Right to upper back with your hips off the floor. I'm just going to roll from your lower back all, all the way to your upper back. If you don't have a full roll, you can stand stretching the place and doing it. Quad stretch, this one. Slides on this one, which is cracking. So, rolling from lower back all the way to upper back. The full range. Now, you're going to stop at your upper back, at your mid upper back, and lean to the side, round your shoulders. You're looking for this slab of meat, the rhomboid, around the side of your spine, between your shoulder blade and your spine. Just dig that out. It's going to be a, a muscle we're going to work a lot today. So, you want to find it and dig it. So, you're pretty sensitive. Then, lean over to the left. Do the same thing. Right to the left of your spine. And roll the full length again to your lower back, all the way to the upper back again. And that's good. All right, we're going to sit on top of it. You're going to cross your right leg over your left. Your left leg is bent, your left foot is on the floor, your right leg is crossed over the left. You're going to go down onto your elbow and roll the upper, outer part of your glute. It's a little curved side. Outer part of your glute. Kind of lean around. Lean right, lean left. Look for the pain. Look for tightness. If you find tightness, you find pain. Stay on it and dig it out. Dig those knots out. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Ease out of that. Switch sides. So now you're going to put your right foot on the floor. Cross your left in the air. Up over your right. Go down to your left elbow. Lean to the side. So lay it up in the air. That's the side you're leaning to. Down your left elbow and dig the upper outer part of your glute. Is it recording? Dig it, dig it, dig it. Yes, it says right. And that's good. And you're gonna put it right in the center of your thigh, on the side, halfway in between your knee and your hip. And you're gonna go on your forearm. And you're gonna roll from the very bottom part of your hip all the way to the top of your knee, the whole left side of your thigh. If you're not used to this, it's gonna be a ton of pain on there. If it's too much pain, you put your right foot on the floor over the top and your left leg in the air. But I'm gonna stack both up. It's gonna need some extra weight, some extra digging and extra pain. All the way from your knee to your hip, the whole side of your thigh. And flip over to the other side, right side. Start with it directly in the middle. Halfway between your hip and your knee, and roll the full length all the way down. Right above the knee, or right below the hip. Roll it. And now face forward. Again, halfway in between your knee and your hip. And you roll from the top of your quads all the way to the bottom, right above your knees. Digging in your quads. You line up the right way. You shouldn't have to curl your hands. You should have to roll your body. One smooth roll and get the full length of your upper leg. Now turn one leg out, turn your right knee out sideways, and you're going to dig right above the knee and the inner right side of your thigh. It's going to be a little, real tight spot there. You need to get that before we do the scale rows. Dig it. And now turn the left knee out. And right above the knee. And the inner thigh. And that's good. You could do your hamstrings, calves. We're not going to worry about that. Right the last part that we're looking for was right here. A real tight spot that you should have been trying to get. All right, let's come up on our feet. We're going to hit a couple more stretches. And let's just go alternating quad stretch. Quad, quad, knee hug, knee hug. Hold it for as long as you need to. Hold it for one to three seconds. One or three on the other side. Knee hug. And knee hug. Just keep rotating between those. 
Press short as long as needs it. Quad, quad, knee, knee. Now let's rotate those shoulders forward for three. Three circles forward, three circles backwards. One, two, three, and then come backwards for one, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. We need to get these warmed up. We have some long rounds coming up. Forward for three, back for three. All right, you gonna put our hands on our hips, like a front our butt with our fingertips open right here. You're gonna lean over at the waist and then come up and just squeeze your glutes. You're really looking to open up this upper chest and open up your hip. So lean over and come up to just where you're straight. Just put your hips forward a little bit. Don't arch the lower back. Just getting those shoulder opened up, opening up the hip. Breathe it out. Getting ready for the hinges that we're going to do with the kettlebell. One more. And last one. Bring the chest open. Catch it for a stretch. Bring it open. Catch the other side for a stretch. Hold it for one to three seconds. All you're going to need, if you have a kettlebell, all you need is a single kettlebell. If you have different weights, then maybe the first rounder or first couple rounds, just start with lighter weight. And if you're feeling good, you adjust the weight as needed. So the rounds are going to get longer and harder as we go. One more time each side. And that's good, just shake it out. So just get your kettlebell. I'm gonna start with a light one for this first round. You can hit about six or seven sets in a row. So you can watch them if you have those things, bash the watch. And it's also mostly single arm, except for a double arm swing. All the movements are gonna be single arm. So it's really double the amount of sets. All we're doing is five reps of each right here, five reps of each. Starting with a double arm swing. Some of these I'll start showing forward and then I'll also turn sideways so you can see it sideways. So let's start with just five double arm swings. You're not going to put the weight down this entire round. So five, one, with it. Head up, chest out. Right into five right arm swings. Weight's never going to go down. Now five right arm swings. One more and then left arm swing. Switch right on the fly, right to it. Breathe it out, burst it out, brace your abs, squeeze your glutes to come up. Don't just make it a squat, a little more leaning at the waist, a little more leaning at the waist and knee bend. Now you're gonna go right arm, right arm clean. Just pulling it straight up, straight up your chest into that shoulder wrap. So it should turn and end up right here, just resting in that shoulder. Whip it right up right here. Turns it, there you go, it just rests in there. It's five each side. This weight's not going down the ground the entire round. And switch. Even though it's five, I'll tell you when to switch because we might be on a different pace. So I'll just call the switch. Now left arm clean. But it just turns. It's not flipping over the top. It just ends up resting in that shoulder rack position. It's just a warm up round. Done. Switch right back to the right arm. Start at the shoulder rack. We're going with a push press. Dip. Push it up. Snap it up there. The biceps should end up by the ear. Brace those abs. Shoot it up. Boom. Switch. Left arm push press. Left arm push press. Throw it up. Dip and punch. Even though it's light, look, starting a little more packed into your shoulder. Right here. Start where you end up with a clean. It should be resting in that shoulder rack in tight. And it's a dip and throw it up. So don't let it come out here for a shoulder press. It's being close to your body. So we go clean to press, it's gonna be right there. All right, now go right arm. Now we're gonna combine those two, so check it out. Clean, dip, press. So it ends up resting in this triangle. Look, I don't even have to hold that, I can just let it rest in that triangle in between. So elbows pack and switch, clean to press. Flip, dip, punch it up. Flip, dip, punch. Whip it. Left arm, clean to press. Dip, throw it up. That kid is getting some mileage in today. Running laps. <laughs> he's doing more work than us. We should just do that workout. Try to burn more calories. Throw it up, one more. Now, right arm for a snatch. So we're going from the bottom position all the way up to the top in one shot. 
So in slow motion, it would look here. And you flip it over and it rolls into the form. It shouldn't impact the form. Look, it's going to be a smooth flow, smooth rollover in one shot. Bottom to top, one shot. Don't stop in the middle. That's a pressure. Go right to the top. So look from the side. Drop down in one, up in one. Down in one, up in one. And switch, left arm. Same thing. Whip it up. Where are the jammies? <laughs> Throw it up. Whip it. Single arm. And time. Just put it down. Now we just get warmed up. All right. So now we're going to go through every one of those movements a full round, adding a squat thrust with it and a claw with it. So we're going to start squat thrust with double arm swings just for a round by itself. So it's a squat thrust every time you come up. Is going to be two double arm swings by itself. We don't need much of a break at that. I'm just going up to get last in the stretch, whatever you need to. We're going right to it. So on the squat thrust, you're not going to balance on the kettlebell. You're going to place it on the floor, jump back, jump in as you come up, two swings. So squat thrust, two swings, go. Jump up, sit on the heels, whip it. One squat thrust, two swings. Just get rolling. Just get warmed up. Whip it. Snap. Breathe out as you push it up and whip it up there. Squeeze your glutes. Hinge at the hip. Let your hips whip it up there. Don't just muscle up with your shoulders and don't lean over the waist. Don't round the lower back. Squat down to get down there. Down. It's going to be about a minute round. About a one minute round. Keep rolling. And the minutes in my brain, and my brain's calibrated a little differently from the plant where I'm from. So the minute might be a minute, might be two minutes, might be 45 seconds, whatever. And time. So we're going to keep the kettlebell exercise the same. And we're just switching from squat thrust to crawl out. So now you're going to start with that weight in between your feet on the floor. You're going to crawl all the way out, pull in, and hit two double arm swings. Go. So the kettle exercise stays the same. We're just switching from squat thrust to crawl. Two swings. Whip it. Walk the hands out. Let's throw a push up in there just for the hell of it. Throw a push up in. Whip it. Of course, let's add the push up to later. I think we're warmed up. We can add a single push up in. You'll lift. Whip it. Two swings. All the way out. One push. Crawl back in. Whip the hips. Brace those abs. You're going to feel it in the lower back. Crawl it out. Push. Back in. Whip. Crawl out. Weight in between your feet, crawl all the way out, full push up position. One push up, one push up, two swings. All the way out there. Push and whip. Let's get one more. One more. Suck it up. Just getting started. This is the easy shit. Oh, it did two push ups an accident. Just for fun. Just for fun. Ah. All right, so that was the first kettlebell exercise, double arm swing. Second kettlebell exercise was a single arm swing. So now we're gonna go back to the squat thrust with the single arm swing. So it's squat thrust, two right single arm swing. Then squat thrust, two left single arm swing. And then we do a crawl out also, and then we go out there. Ready? Let's roll, squat thrust, two right arm swings, go. Squat thrust, come up, whip, two swings. Squat thrust, and two left arm swings. Right back down, squat down, and get down, and don't leave a right waist. With the hips, throw it down, abs strong, you jump the speed back, and whip for two single arm swings. 
Squat thrust, two right swings. Squat thrust, two left swings. 60 seconds. Keep rolling. Pushing over there in your jams. Squat thrust. Boom. Two single arm swings. Brace those abs. Think of this entire workout as an ab workout. Otherwise, you're going to strain the lower back. Let's go. One more inside. Ah. Two right up swing. Whip it. Control it. Down, jump back. In. Two left. And time. There's no real breaks here. It's just in between while we go over what's coming up next. So now we're on the crawl out with the single arm swings. So it's crawl out, two right arm swings. Crawl out, two left arm swings. Get a quick sip, hydrate, do what you got to do. Get ready for the set coming up in three seconds. Let's do it. So the weight starts. In between your feet, wide stance, crawl out. No push up this time. You want a little more reps in. We'll alternate each round with push ups. Two right arm swings. And crawl out. Back in. Two left arm swings. Fuck it. If you want to do a push up, do a push up. I want to do a push up. We'll do another round. We're supposed to be every other round. So yeah, the third round. But we're savages. We're warriors. You're freaks. We don't need to wait for it. We're warmed up. We're freaking rocking and rolling. Kicking ass. No. Push up. Back in. And two right arm swings. Whip it. Squeeze the glutes. Control it down. All the way out. Full push up position. And two left arm swings. Make sure you switch one arm and swing with. Keep attacking. Don't post it. Keep rolling. Push this jammy girl. Push, whip, breathe out for those swings. Control it down, all the way out there. Push up, and two left arm swing. Boom, boom. One more inside. Push, whip two swings on the right. All the way out there. Push up, and two swings on the left. Whip it. And time. Shake it, shake it, shake it. So listen up. We are going back to that first round we did where we went through all the exercise in a row for five of each without putting the weight down, except now we are doing 10 of each. So we're doubling the length of the round. Starting with that double arm swing. Just get a quick shoulder stretch, quick quad stretch, glutes, because now this round is going to be twice as long as that, those five reps. If you're feeling good, you can change your weight. I'm going to bump up my weight for this one. So it's higher reps and higher weight. But we should be looking for more of a cardio endurance effect. So don't go too heavy where it's struggling. Whatever weight you'll be able to handle, 10 of each without ever putting the weight down. The weight is up in your control the entire time. 10 of each. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Last shake. Last stretch, shake those hips. <laughs> Let's do it, double arm swing for 10. Going in three, two, one, boom. Double arm swings for 10. Lift it up, head up, chest out. Let it come in between your legs, just need the hip. One more, right away to right arm swing. Snap it up in your legs. Switch. When you're done, you're going to go on your own count for this one. You're not going to switch on me. Switch on 10. If you're watching this on replay. Make sure you get 10 of each. You have to stop the video. Stop it. Get 10 of each. After single arm swings. Comes right on clean. That's the bottom half. Just whipping it up. Ooh. There we go. Whoa. Five. A little lower down there. 
We're fucked with the hips. Hold it from in between the legs. Three more. Ha. Switch arms. The weight doesn't go down. Doesn't go down the entire round. Doesn't touch the floor. Unless you absolutely need to. No reason you need to is if you're going to die. If you're going to die, you'd be fucking dead. So it wouldn't matter. So just keep the weight here. Whip it. Ten. Unless it's too heavy, then just switch out the weight. You feel like your technique is off. And right arm push press after you've done those cleans. Staying in your meat as you know. Go dip. I'm just going to stick. Push press, dip and punch it up. Not just a wash open. It's look, starts to show the tap, dip and punch it up. So it has some explosiveness. It's an explosive movement. So you can just bang it out. Use the leg to help it out. It's going to make that weight fly in the air. After 10, switch over to the left side. Left arm push press. Weight stays in your control and your possession at all times. Throw it up, breathe it out. Snap of the legs. Over to the first arm after your 10. Clean to press on the right arm. Let's do it. So flip, dip, throw it up. Get that second dip. So your legs come down, they come up, they come down and up. Two separate movements. As you flip the weight to your shoulder, get that second dip to the shoulder press. Dip and punch. Oh yeah. Dip, punch. So your legs, momentum, hips, explosiveness, that's helping get up for that press part. The shoulder press. And think about if that weight's too heavy, adjust it. You have to switch it out. Back to 10, switch sides. Left arm, clean to press. Let's do it. Whip, dip, punch. And if you didn't have a, a, dumbbell, a kettlebell, just use a dumbbell, you need the right weight. Still use some momentum for this. So look when I flip into my shoulder, last is one rep. So I'm down, I flip up, dip down, and it snap it up. So there's a flow for the whole thing. Get that second dip after it comes to your shoulder. So it explodes up with your legs. It's not just a curl to press. Completely different. Snap it up. After 10, you're going to the right arm for snatch. 10 snatch on the right arm, you hit your 10. So keep the weight in the air, let's go. 10 snatches, straight overhead in one shot. Drops down, explodes. Extend that arm up, lock out the arm up there. That's what you do in this case it slips. Or slide will crack your slope. No, you stay to the right. Just a little more to the side. Whip it up. Snap it. Going to 10, stabilize your shoulder at the top. Do your whole body to explode it up there. Boom. Drop, head. And switch, left arm snatch, finishes the round. Boom. Oh yeah. Snap it up. Dig, 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 whip it. A few more. It's one smooth explosion, bottom to top. In one count, your whole body helping out. And the best total body moves you can do. Kettlebell snatch. 10. And time. Take it out. Recover. We're going to pick it back up. Do the squat thrust and the crawl out for the next exercise down the list, which was the clean. The third exercise. First, stretch it. Stretch your shoulders. Stretch your quads. Stretch your glutes. Hydrate. Active recovery. Moving around. Keep it rolling. Yes, she 
shoulders out. Touch your hamstrings. These glutes also get this cross leg. Glute stretch. Get tons of glute work with these squat thrusts, the cross, the cleans, snatches, swings. Shake them and stretch them. So we got squat thrust to clean. It's just one clean. Squat thrust, right arm clean. Squat thrust, left arm clean. Go with your lighter or your heavier weight, whatever you feel. Let's do it. Going in three, two, one. Begin. Squat thrust. Scoop it up. Boom. Right arm clean. Bring it down. And left arm clean. One explosion. Face down under control. Jump those feet. Whip up that weight as you're coming up. So just scoop it on the way up from your squat thrust. One smooth flow. Roll it. Attack. Boom. Breathe it out. Take those abs. Bam. Whip it up. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Put that snap it. One clean. Nice pace to this one. Down, out, in, up, and clean. Down, out, in, up, and clean on the other side. Three more. Oh, yeah. Ha. Last one. Five. So you know the kettlebell exercise is going to stay the same. Go to crawl out. If your heart rate is not up right now, you're not pushing the pace fast enough. Be out of breath. Struggling to breathe. Snotting and snorting like I am. Trying to get some air. All right, let's do it. Crawl out. Right arm snatch. Or sorry, clean. Crawl out, left arm clean. Adding in the push up. Going in three, two, one, boom. Crawl out, push up. Right arm clean. Whip it and down. All the way out. Push up, left arm, whip. Should get all the way out there. Whip that up there, right at the center of your body. Strong push up. There you go. Nice pace. There you go. Keep that weight close to the center of your body. When you're cleaning it up, so it's not yanking on your shoulder or your elbow. You're pulling the zipper up the center of your chest. That kettlebell should be right in the center of your chest. Whip it. Snap. Push. Oh, yeah. Ha. So two more inside. Four more reps. Push the pace. Keep rolling. You're working literally your entire body here. Your upper, your lower, your core, your chest, your back, your arms, your grip, your cardio, conditioning, balance, coordination, fucking everything. Whip it. Boom. Time. Shake it. Coming up. The next exercise down with this, if you remember, was clean to press. So we're not doing a push press by itself, because in order to do a push press, you gotta do a clean anyway from the squat thrust. So we go squat thrust to clean to press. Squat thrust, clean to press right. Squat thrust, clean to press left. Make sure the shoulders stretch out. Stay loose. You got these couple seconds in between to catch your breath. So we can go all out. You have good technique, not strain your lower back. Shoulders, complete control, so you can attack these sets. Yosef, you good? All good? Thumbs up. <laughs> you have that much energy in between on the rest round. You should be doubling your weight and doubling your speed. You're sitting here doing some ditty bop and dancing. You should be doubling your shit. All right, let's do it. Squat for us. Clean the press. Three, two, one, boom! Ah! 
Whip, clean, push, press, right to the side. Clean, press. Remember on this round, it's only one rep at a time, so this is the round you can handle probably heavier weight. Not like those long sets where we're doing 10 reps of each or more. Hint, hint, later on. Meaning we'll be going higher reps than 10. So right now it says one. So this is the one you can play handle heavier weight without slowing you down. So it's only one freaking rep at a time. Squat to us, clean the press right. Squat to us, clean the press left. Whip it, dip it, throw it, control it, steer that weight like it's like you're steering a horse from its reins. That kettlebell handle is like the reins on the horse, steering it, steering the beast, controlling it. You're in charge of the kettlebell. You tell it where to go. It doesn't tell you where to go. Tighten up, stiffen up. You're still rolling. Oh, yeah. Let's do it three more. We're working out. It's a longer round. Cruising. That talking going on back there. Ha! Lift, dip, punch it. One more. Ha! Ha! Crawl out to clean the press coming up. Focus on control. Perfect technique. It'll work hard. Not get sweat. All right. Let's do it. Crawl out. So clean to press right. Crawl out. Clean to press left. With the push up in there. We don't want to get that straight. Let's do it. Put the weight between your feet. Wide stance. Three, two, one, boom. Crawl, push. Clean. Press right. Crawl, push. Clean press left. It's only one clean press at a time. So you should be at the heaviest weight you can handle for keeping a fast pace without straining yourself. With perfect control and technique. Roll it in. Clean. Press. Oh, yeah. Roll it in. Get that nice solid push up out there. Sit on your heels before you start to clean and press. Make sure you're squatting down there for the crawl out. Crawl back in. Get on your heels, then squat up for the clean. And then dip. Second dip for that press. Oh, yeah. Ha. Flip. Dip. Jump it up there. Explode. Get some momentum on the clean and press. And you'll fling that weight around much. Much easier. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Oh, yeah. Push through it. Almost there. Flip. Dip. Snap it. Woo! One more. One more. Ha! Flip. Punch. Boom. Oh, shit. All right. You're going to need a little recovery on this set because. We're going back to the full round, like we did five of each and 10 of each of everything without putting the weight down, except this round, we are doing 15 of each. 15 of each, so choose your weight wisely. I'm gonna attempt my heavier weight for 15, and if I drop it on my head, that'll be some good blooper reels for you. See me split my head open. Many people would enjoy that. So, Make sure 15 of each. What we are going to do is going to go reverse order. So, we're going to start with the clean or start with the snatch, then clean to press, then push press, then clean, then single arm swing, then double arm swing. So, we're going to go reverse order, go from the hardest to easy since it's such a long round and long sets. We don't want to start with the easy one. We've already done that for the warm ups. So, we're going to start hardest, reverse order. This will be the hardest round of the day. This will be the longest round of the day. This will be the 
the best gripping round of the day. I didn't say the last, I said the best. We still got a lot of work to get to. A lot of work. We're just getting started. Oh, wow. We're only six minutes past the halfway mark. And that's if we end on time. We never end on time. Six minutes past the halfway mark. Time is it quick. What? Oh, my gosh. What time is it? Oh, 3.51. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, six, yes. six, nine. All right, let's do it. 15 of each. Starting with the snatch. This is going to suck. You're going to be on your own pace here. So don't switch nice legs. I'll still call the exercise that I'm on, but you might be going faster than me, slower than me. So just go at your pace. Make sure you get 15 of each. Going in three, two, one. Roll and snatch. 15 prongs. Whip it up. We're doing all. Two, four, six, seven sets. 15 in a row per side. One one that's not per side, it's a couple of swing. And the problem is, I'm yapping, I have no clue what number I'm on. So I'll have to just make sure I get a few extra. To hit the 15, whip it up there, explode that snatch up, whip it, shot, boom. Bottom to top in one count. Get that left hand up in the guard if you can. Get that weight close to your body, the arm is not straight. It bends and then extends. There you go. So you get a smooth flip over. And switch left arm. 15 snaps. Whip it. Ha! Ah. Means you better do something. Snap up. No, with the weight. Explode! 15 of each is gonna stop. But at least we're getting these harder ones out of the way first. Boom, boom, shit, I keep talking about old number of Damn it, I'm probably doing like either 20 or like four. Whip it up, time, or not time, get 15. Then go to the right arm, clean to press for 15, I gotta count. Flip, dip, snap, One. clean to press. Two. Breathe it out. You're trying to go without Three. ever putting the weight down on the ground Four. this entire round. So if you can. Five. It is on your person, in your control, Six. for hundreds of reps here. Seven. Because it's one, two, eight. Six exercises. I'm 15 at 75. Nine. 150. Ten. 165 reps. Oh, shit. 15, not 10. We're about to flip, dip, Whoa. explode, snap it up. Woo! Ha! 15. 14. 15. And switch. Don't forget, you're going on your own case at home. Let's do it. Don't count like this, You might be under the counter. You should count like Just tell me where we're at. Flip, dip, and explode. Brace those abs. Dip and punch it up. Get that second bounce. Ha! Ah, throw it up. Ha! Ah, up! Oh. Okay. Hey. What? You don't have to count, boy. Two separate. First of there. Ha! Ah. Flip, dip, snick, snap it up. Snick, snap it up. Explode! Throw it through the roof. Ha! What we got, sucker? 50. All right. Don't put on the ground. Hold it if you can. Push press is next. Speed on this will help you. Just dip and bang these out. Don't make your boss hold press. Look at a dip. One, dip, boom, speed. Whoa. Ha! Let your legs hop out. Jump up almost on your toes. No more. Number. Throw it up. Ha. Go speed on those, or else you're going to die. And your arm will fall off. Literally fall off. See that? Dip. Go. Ha. Breathe it. Use the legs. Let the legs help out. Explode up. 15. Number. Ha. 
Have to push press. Right on clean. Bottom half. Let's go. Don't put that weight down. Suck it up. This is what it's all about. This round right here. This is a mental round more than it is a physical round. Right into that shoulder rack. Breathe it out. Burst it out. It is hard to breathe when you are babbling nonstop like I am. Shit. Snap it. Ah. That's why I keep snorting and snarling. Number boy. 50. 50 on that side. Switch left arm clean after 15. Left arm clean, 15. Let's do it. After this, all we got is single arm swing. Double arm swing, the easy ones. So I went hardest, easiest on this because it's a long, hard round. Snap it up. Ha. Woo. Boom. Ha. Breathe out. Bottom half, that's your clean. Work through it. Squeeze those glutes. Brace the abs. Pop it up there with your legs and your hips. Your hand is just steering the kettlebell. Your arm is not muscling it up. Get those 15 left arm planes. We got right arm, single arm swing. Coming up, finish off your 15. We'll all start the swings together. And let's go, right arm swing. Keep that weight in there if you can. Don't put it down between sets if you can. Dig. 15 per side, 15 double. And this round is over. The suckery will be complete for this round. Number four. 14. Ha, switch right away, left arm, right in stride. Right in stride and switch it. Snap, pinch your butt together at the top. Break your abs you're gonna get punched in the freaking stomach. But breathe it out. Let the speed of your breathing match the speed of your movement. Ha. Brace that core. Number 13. 15. Right, it's a double arm swing. Oh, yeah, brace those abs. You're going to start feeling your lower back too much. Pinch your butt together. Your glutes, the top of your hamstrings, your core, your hips. That's all part of your core. So you got to squeeze those glutes to support your lower back on these. It's a lot of reps in a row. Bunch of savages. You are a big freak. Yay! Nothing you can handle. Tie. If you hit your 15 double arm swings, finish it off. Head up, chest out. Brace those abs. Don't go knocking anyone out around you. Whip it. There's a brave kid walking in front of that swing like it's nothing. I'm acknowledging it. Break. Nice round. Shake it out. Because the next round is still going to be fast paced in short round, short little burst. Because we're up to back to the squat thrust and crawl out, but we have to do it with the snatch. Our snatch is our hardest, most explosive of the kettlebell movements. So this is going to be a fast paced explosive round. It's going to take a quick little breather, shake it. Your only breather is an active recovery in between these rounds. Stressing those hips, glutes, hamstrings, quads. Getting ready for squat thrust to right arm snatch, squat thrust to left arm snatch. Sit after that, we'll be crawl out to right arm snatch, crawl out to left arm snatch. Oh yeah, glutes are feeling it. Be glutes, core, out of breath, upper body should be pumped. Total body cardio conditioning, endurance. Muscular endurance, core endurance, coordination. All right, let's get set for this. Just one snatch at a time. Focus on technique. So it's squat thrust, right arm snatch, squat thrust, left arm snatch. Squat thrust is fast paced, snatch is fast paced. This should be a real quick, fast paced round. It's gonna be short little burst, bing, bang, boom, and done. We just set. There's no push up. 
All right. Going in three, two, one. Attack. Squat thrust with right arm snatch. Bring it down. Place the squat thrust. Left arm snatch. Go as fast and control as you can. But no faster than perfect. The perfect technique. Don't strain your lower back. Think of this as a core workout. This is an ab workout as much as anything else. Because that core needs to be tight this entire time. This is some real world tactical conditioning. This is the kind of conditioning you need for the invasion, for the apocalypse, the survival of rioting, and looting. This is the training right here, where you're moving fast, grabbing stuff and going, exploding without getting tired. Moving heavy equipment, heavy weight, heavy bags of ammo, and on the move. Snap it up there. Let's go. Two more each side. Two more each side. Oh, we got the snatch. Finish it off. Get your two on each side, wherever you were at when I said that. I still need one more each. Ha! Whip it. One more for me on the left. Ha! Woo! Ha! Oh, shit. That was a fast pace. You need a quick little spike of energy. Squat thrust to snatch, that'll do the damn job. To jack your heart rate up from zero to 160 in no time. So now we got crawl out to right arm snatch. Crawl out to left arm snatch with the push up. So a much slower pace round the squat thrust round, but still with control and intensity. Before our heart rate comes down too much, whew, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Crawl out, push up, in, right arm snatch. Ha. Crawl it out, push, in, left arm snatch. Oh, yeah. Whip that up there. Left arm, all the way out there. Full push up. Don't go any faster than perfect on this. Don't rush it. Make sure you have sharp technique, sharp movements, nice flow, control the weight, strong core, supporting your lower back. Three more, wherever you are, three more. Ha! Got one more each side here. Last two. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Push and whip. Fuck. Woo! Shake it. All right. There's good news. And there's bad news. Good news is there's only one more real round before we do some core stuff, some app stuff. The bad news is we gotta do that whole circuit. We did the five of each. We did the 10 of each. We did the 15 of each. I was gonna be nice to say, let's just do one of each and circuit through it. But fuck that, we're doing 20 of each. Oh yeah. I will be doing my lighter weight for this one. I seriously was about to say one of each. And let me tell you, Yosef, you just screwed yourself. It was really supposed to be just one of each where we just rotate through all the exercises for a final burnout round. But I saw you hear me say five and 10 and 15 and you fell for the bait and you started nodding. So I couldn't disappoint you because you were expecting me to say 20. I had to give you what you wanted. No. So now we all suffer. Shit. All right, make sure you have your lighter weight for this. It's late in the game. We're starting with the snatch. 20 of each. Oh yeah, this is going to be some pure, pure suckery, but it is how we roll. Listen, no faster than perfect, go to a pace. Get your last quick sip, hydrate, it's going to be a long round. But make sure you have light enough weight you can handle these reps. Is that sweat or do you have a leak in one of the pipes? 
Pour it on you. Soaking. So you have a flood or something. All right, let's do it. Snacks coming up. Oh, shit. Whose idea was this? Couldn't just stick to the one. Rotate to the one. Just finish off. He had to nod his head. He gave us 20. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Snacks for 20. Her arm. Long round. Oh, yeah, this is what it's all about. This is what we're training for. If you didn't watch the episode I just did earlier, Steve says, episode number 81, it was about choosing hard. So when I thought about the last round, we could have done one of each just to kind of finish off and cruise to the finish line, or we could choose hard. Hard is what gets you where you want to be. The result in all freaking areas of life, choose hard. You have two options. Always choose hard. The reward, the result will always be better and bigger and more worth it. Remember. Okay, you're going on your own pace. I'm not going to tell you when to switch because we're all going to be going different pace, different weights. I'm on left arm snatch. Go. 20 each time. Snap it. Breathe, breathe. Brace those abs. It's late in the game. That bicep should end up by your ear. Stabilize that shoulder overhead. Remember? 17. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's just yak up my breakfast. <laughs> Clean to press. Right arm. 420. Go. Flip, dip, punch, punch, snap. Make sure you get that second dip. To help push that up. 20 each time. That is a shitload of reps. Six times 20, 120, 240, 200, 260 reps in this round. 260 reps in this one round to finish off. If my math, the top of my head is correct. That's number. Going to 20. These are the harder ones. We get them out of the way. It gets easier and easier. Come on. 19. Clean to press. Oh, yeah. Get light enough weight you're able to get the cardio effect that your muscles are not slowing you down. They should be burning, but just enough that you can keep going and switching arms just in time so you can jack up that heart rate. Heart should be pounding through your chest right now. Clean to press. Tighten up that body. Don't rush the lower back or you're going to strain it. Brace the core even while you're tired. The more tired you get, the more you're going to focus on squeezing that core. The more tired you get, the stronger you need to act. The more tired you get, the better your technique needs to be. Use that momentum. Lift it up. 13. Shit, is it? Come on, man. Count faster. You don't know about doing reps, just count fast. It sound like you're there. Yeah. yeah, right. We don't want that. No cutting corners. Cutting corners will get you nowhere. Only hard, suffering, yeah. sacrifice, and pain will get you success and results. Another one? You can't count, count, man. You can't freaking count. Push press, first arm, mother flipper. Woo! <sighs> I'm going fast these, so looks like you think I'm going to bang this shit. And then he's done. Pump it out for the shoulder press. We'll be on. You gotta be kidding, I'm only 25. Just press as much as you can. Use the legs, so it's more of an explosive cardio set, not just a shoulder pump. So the legs are down, you're actually popping. My feet are gonna get some air some of these times because it's explosive. Popping up to your toes. Ha, ha, ha. Burst it. So you're punching through the roof. A Superman punch straight to the roof. As you jump it up, the punch can't count with the nuts. Come on, what number? None. Shit, man. I had to count, bro. 
After that left arm push press, it's all the low ones. Your overhead is done. It means the easy stuff here, cleans. Right arm, right arm clean. Let's try to go without putting that weight down. This whole round. Let's do it. Right arm clean, go. Right up the middle. Get your legs and hips right up and not your arm, not your shoulder. Your elbow is tucked in pretty close to your body. Your hand is just steering that weight. Ha. Yeah. Woo. Whip it up. Almost there. After this, it's just left arm clean and some swings. Bing, bang, boom, done. Come on, man. You had a count. That homeschooling shit ain't working for you. The counting is off. It feels like a lot more than 20. Left arm clean, coming up. Go. Whip it. Snap it up. Right into that shoulder wrap. Get some momentum. Your whole body is whipping that weight up there. And your hand is just steering it. Controlling it. Don't the kettlebell pull you around. You're pulling it around with your entire body. Do more. Ah. Ah. Yes. 20 on that left arm clean. We're going to right arm swings. Coming up. Right arm swing. You good? Right arm swing, whip it. Snap it. Brace those abs, pinch your butt together to support that lower back. This is it, the home stretch. On each side. Ha. Brace those abs. Dig it. Whip it. Your whole body's whipping that up there. Not just your lower back. Not just your shoulder. Right into your left arm. Flow. Ha. Right in stride. Get that cardio real fast. Shit. Open it. Snap it. Pinch your butt every time you come up. Put your abs in tight. It's your tall, strong. Don't arch your back. Don't slump over at the waist. Hinge at the hip. What? The double arm swing to finish off this round. Oh, yeah, I said this round. I didn't say no workout, I said this round. We do got to go out and finish it. Ah, snap it. 20 double arm swing, this is a joke now. Just complete focus on keeping your core tight the entire time and squeezing your butt. Head up, chest out, shoulders are back and down. Done. All right, put that weight down. All right, we just have to do one final squat versus pull out round with every exercise mixed in to finish off. Oh yeah, we're not done. No, we're done. We ain't done. We're on overtime. We're on bonus time. Oh, barely. We're good. So, you good? One more round, this is it. All we have is squat thrust, snatch right, squat thrust, snatch left. Roll out, snatch right, roll out, snatch left. Then squat thrust, clean the press right. So we're going through squat thrust and crawl out just for one rep of every exercise. I'm going to do it real slow just so we can all stay together just to finish things off. So it's not going to be super fast because it did a lot to it. I memorized, so I'll go pretty slow pace. It doesn't matter at this point. We'll all try to stay together. We have that energy for these little <laughs> ditty bopping back on the block moves. We got energy to double that damn weight and do a whole other hour of this thing. What? Yeah, I'm gonna replay the recording and you can do it again. So it's all that energy. All right. So we're starting squat thrust, snatch right, squat thrust, snatch left, crawl out, snatch right, crawl out, snatch left. And it's gonna be that same way 
for all exercise. So it's really four reps of each exercise. So this is the finisher. And we are done for real after this round. Once we hit all these exercises, we'll squat, thrust, and crawl in one final round. Oh, yeah. We're feeling it. Put the weight down there. Let's start with squat thrust to right arm snatch. Going in three, two, one. It's going to be slow, steady pace. Squat thrust, snatch right. Then squat thrust, snatch left. Then crawl out with push up, snatch right. Crawl out with push up, snatch left. Back to squat thrust for clean and press right. Clean, press right. Squat thrust, clean and press left. Crawl out, push up, clean to press right. Almost there already. Crawl out, push up, clean to press left. Squat thrust, clean right. Squat thrust, clean left. Crawl out, that'd be a clean press. Push up, clean right. Crawl out, push up, clean left. Oh yeah, we're there, the home stretch. Squat thrust, two right arm swings. Ha, ha. Squat thrust, two left arm swings. Ha, ha. Crawl out, push up, two right arm swings. Ah, ah. Crawl out, push up, two left arm swings. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Just a double arm swing coming out. Squat thrust, two double arm swings. Woo, woo. Crawl out, push up, two double arm swings. Boom. Boom! We are done. done! Holy shit! Yes. Nice work. We good? Feeling good? Shoulders and lower back hanging in there? For now, I still have to do planks. I still have to do my plank challenge. Oh, man. <laughs> good luck with that one after this. My goal is just to do the challenge. We'll get there. What's your goal for today? How many minutes? Just to do the challenge. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Just to do it. Got it. All right. Awesome. Nice work. All right. Thank Good you. Work here. Make sure you're stretching lower back, your hips, hamstrings, glutes, shoulders, even before you do that plank, because this was a shitload of up and down. We literally did that last round of 20s was 260 reps. So I don't know. We did over a thousand reps in this kind of book today. So. Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> Get your stretches in, recover, hydrate, get some protein in. And let us know if you need anything, any help with your nutrition or anything. Let us know. Okay. It seems like you do a lot of double sessions now, right? How many times a week? I think right now, like maybe two, three, depends. Okay, like, you need to eat more protein because Sunday I don't work. Same right? nutrition. You have the same nutrition, you haven't changed anything other than maybe adding carbs, but you don't add any protein. So you need to eat more because otherwise you're gonna burn it, burn it out. Okay. Yeah. How many grams of protein are you getting a day? Um, around maybe 180 to 200. What do you weigh? 175. Okay, so yeah, that's it's a good. It's, you're right in there. You can try it a little more on days you're doubling up, but yeah, it's decent. Minimum at this intensity is one gram per pound, so you're a little above that. So that's good as long as you stay I around there. Around there, but I guess with the doubles, but like yeah. like some days I don't work, so it's like that's I need the double, you know? Yeah, yeah. I hear you. <laughs> All right, awesome. Nice work. Let me know if you need anything. All right, we'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Anything you want to say, Tyson? No! 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 Very, very normal, child. Very normal. Don't worry. Yeah. No, 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 no. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>